Uh, I'm Brian Knight with Springtime Homes. We're a builder in Asheville, North Carolina. Today we're going to be talking about the Springtime Cottage. The Springtime Cottage is a super high performance home plan. It is a passive solar design that is easily adapted to other building sites. One of the best aspects of this plan's efficiency is its shape. Stretch longer from east to west, not only for maximizing entry of the winter sun, but minimizing the time the sun is shining on the east and west sides of the house. We've got a shed dormer coming off the south side, giving us space for our living area upstairs, and it's giving us a south wall to put our windows for the passive solar design. With this particular springtime cottage version, we've got a fairly small covered porch here on this east side. It'd be very easy to wrap this porch around to the north. You could even wrap it around the whole house, just so long as it doesn't wrap around to the south side and block the sunlight coming into those southern windows. Window selection is very important on a high performance home. Since they're part of the building envelope, it makes sense to get the most high performing windows you can afford. Because the amount of window area is so small, the cost to upgrade to triple pane in these locations was only about $300. So the most important feature of any energy efficient house needs to be the fact that it's airtight and continuously insulated. On our website we talk about a couple different ways this can be done, um, but the main way we've been achieving our results is through SIP panels. SIPs stand for structurally insulated panels. Basically we've got two pieces OSB with foam in the middle. There's nowhere for air or vapor to move through this except at the joints which need to be meticulously air sealed. If you can imagine this being a regular stick built wall and these battens representing the studs, each place you've got a batten, you have no insulation. Not only is this a pathway for air, but it is a pathway for energy. We've got two different types of sips here. This is the most common type of sip. The foam is a EPS or polystyrene. Uh, it's a cheaper type of foam than this, which is polyurethane. Um, the last two houses we've done have been eco panels, which use polyurethane. The advantages are about almost twice the R value. When you're looking at R value of walls, try to think about it in terms of thermal bridging as well. SIPs tend to have a much truer R value than stick built because there's not nearly as many studs breaking up that insulation. This house was built with a polyurethane SIP panel. Uh, the key difference being that instead of a regular piece of OSB on the outside, we've got LP smart side on the outside. It's very appealing because it acts as the house wrap, the siding, it comes primed so that's the first coat of paint. The main reason we like to build with SIP panels is because it reduces the on-site labor costs. It also reduces on-site waste because most of the waste is created at the factory and depending on the design, there can be very little waste. 